Bum, no. bum. <laughs> no, it won't. Okay, no, phase of Charles. We're getting back into it, folks. I've got my fingers crossed for third, but as Chad has already highlighted, and I'll be honest, over the course of that segment, Chad, you kind of whittled and chipped away at my faith in phase. I did, but what did I say about Astralis and the lion's share of their rounds? You said that they do it all on the CT side. Well, where are they starting? Well, okay, I see, how you're, I see what you've done there. I like it. Well, the pistol then, presumably will be very important on the T side. We will see three smokes, four flashes, and a Molotov. Barely any Kevlar out there for Astralis. Just Device and Dupree, the double D combo that will be protected. And they'll start to push towards Banana, waiting for a bit of an assault here from the CT side. But they've got a four man setup towards middle. Broken Olaf Meister towards a quad side. And of course, Rain and Cold Zera patrolling quad. Five players there for Astralis. We talked about the commitment to this side of the map. You've got a Get your skates on, start committing within about 15 seconds from this point. You have no idea if you're being flanked, and this is why. You can yeah, see so we can actually put the timer on it, right? Like, this is about 15 <laughs> seconds. So you better hope you haven't got pins pulled. They do. No one's watching. So if he gets this timing right, it was just a second shy. Maybe a chance still, but no, they'll just pivot, turn around and collect. And oh my god, if they get rain, they could just go A. Phew. Okay, so he'll escape. His death could have changed everything, but he lives on, and they turn around. Rain will go towards second middle here, and uh, he could be in a lot of trouble. He'll find the first, but presumably will be taken down by Magisk and Glaive. No time over the third. Four versus two, and it's going to be Nico Olofmeister rotating in from the library side. Flashbang lands at his front door. They've spotted him, but no damage inflicted. Bombs go down. Okie dokie. Not much these poor CTs can do. I mean, at least they're close to the site. At least they've both got kits. They might actually consider saving. I know it seems Even ridiculous. Even though no Kev? Yeah, it's just the bomb's already down. They don't have any ground. They have to wait out this smoke. Even though they have nades of their own that you were starting to build the story of maybe, we need to look at the fact that we just kicked off the pist around to the second map and phase are already down a map. So the percentages would say, hold on to that kit, hold on to uh, the nades. It's going to be more beneficial when you're not sitting down two to four with the bomb already planted. So they will be opting. It, it, it's just a shame that <laughs> the right players the most boring play, but that's kind of just the way that it unfolds. That's that's the game yeah. of Counter-Strike. And, and I'm, I'm totally cool with it in the situations like this. The problems arise when it's 14-14 and a team is sitting there having to save on a 4v5 retake. That sucks a bag of things. Onions. <laughs> yes. A bag a, of that onions. That sucks a bag of onions. No one wants to suck an onion. No. That's no fun for anyone. Well, we do have the force by and response, or at least I assume we do. Nico will confirm it. Rain will join him with the Desert Eagle armor as well, and a scout for Olaf. They did save two kits there and a bit of armor as well for Nico, so they do manage to get a pretty decent haul into this second round, and probably the most popular of the force by on, to be honest with you, CT side of the smokes especially. It's all about whittling down that clock and trying to make them uncomfortable as possible, get some decent flanks in, potentially some nade damage as well, and Olaf Meister are trying to find some tanks here to kick the round off, and the flashbang will make things a oh, little bit uncomfortable, great. and that's a perfect little setup. That. that was deliberate, right? Like that sweep, yeah, you could see 100%. Dupree. Oh, he just catches the player because chances are if you're sniping down middle, you're only going to move out of the line of sight. You're not retreating. You're not expecting that push. Oh. Nico, I can't believe he stands his ground there. He resists and retains his life. He'll get the frag as well. 3v4. Smoke towards the CT. Two members from Astralis starting the hit here. Rain, he wants to ten take a one. They're stack lading it. He gets chunked down to 25, but the fact he's still alive does bode well. Will they get the bomb down? He get oh, he caught a glimpse. Sees the arm, knows there's someone nearby. Through the smoke with low HP, Nico. He's already got two kills. They can't surely expect another one. clear in a second. Maybe he can nutmeg. He's hearing all the all of this. Glaive staring at the smoke, though, and very, very smart <laughs> gaming. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. They haven't even planted a bomb yet. They knew Nico was up to something there. He's already found two kills, and Glaive, they'll find him in that smoke. That should be the round, to be honest with you. Brokey and Cold Zero. There are kits available to them, and we'll see whether this works out for Astralis. Can that it's be our new, our new that? rule? A new rule? A new rule when we're playing counter. Oh, okay. Is that when there's a smoke down on the site, <laughs> yeah. we don't plant. We just, we chill. We actually spray it. Sure. Because the amount of times I feel like I've, we, we've got everything covered, and there's someone shooting us in the booty. Well, we were still getting past the calling correctly stage making yeah. sure everybody listens to the strategies that are spawn that and was one that we were that was one of our first star uh, and harry russell for someone that's paid to speak is incapable of speech well he he's one of those individuals and there's actually a lot of them out there it will come as a bit of surprise to people if you haven't played a lot of counter strike yourself there are people who are actually unable to speak and, and shoot at the same time even like professional so gamers uh, look I'm not going to lie, in certain situations, there will be individuals who are dead who will take over the calling so somebody can just focus on the fragging and the information. Speaking of folks in the fragging, Magus is opted for the Glock only. Ooh. Round number three here. So uh, a bit of cheese. Going to try and just punish this beast out of the map and 
We'll see what he can make of it. It's actually players like Flusher. There's show us how powerful this can be. So it's no investment, really. He's already got armor. And uh, we'll see whether it works out for him. Looking for that 3-0 scoreline. It'd be perfect. Throwing in Magisk first. He's done a bit of damage there with the grenade as well. I say a bit. Just oh, 90. Oh, just a casual 90. Yeah. Another one as well. Their utility damage is just working out for them. Great shot. Glaive got two. Still not committing, still not any sort of step towards a bomb plant. They don't need to. No rush. They don't want to fall to any sort of stacks. You can see them very procedurally clearing their way in. You can tell the, the difference between Astralis when it gets to the playoffs or, or the serious matches, right? We had it within uh, the Pro League as well. When we saw them, there was a different looking team when we made it into stage two. And now we have a different looking team when we make it to the playoffs here. It's not that they, uh, you know... Uh, are struggling in the no. other games, but it's their turn up the intensity level, I think. You know, those little mistakes that maybe they would have been making a couple of games ago against a team that they wouldn't necessarily, and not be respecting, because Astralis are a team who do their homework on everybody, but maybe you take a little more of a lackadaisical approach, yeah, a little I bit mean, more relaxed. Yeah, I mean, like the drive-by flashbang execute of Olof is something that perhaps you're not whipping out every single second round by, but yeah. when you've got a, a player that you feel like you need to whip out the extra step, you do. We heard from Zonic. We asked him a very hard question. We said, uh, who do you think is the most consistent team other than yourself? And he said, well, most likely FaZe. So you know that the target is on the back of Astralis at all times. And if FaZe are the next closest to that crown, you want to take it as serious as possible. You want to make them look a little bit silly. That's the best way to show that you are the best team in the world. Well, there it is. It will be a pretty clean round there from Astralis. Only giving up one player. May just with the pretty much eco into that one as well. With the Glock, he'll survive and leave the round of a UMP. Three AKs otherwise. And the Zipex... He might be considering dropping the orb for Deva as we get into that next round. Here's Glaive with a double kill. One towards Spawn. The preemptive shot towards Coffins as well. Nice full bank. Almost got the third. Close things out with that AK. So fantastic start for Astralis here. And it will be phased in the back foot to kick things off. You can see one kit, four players of our helmets. So that UMP on the field as well. That could be incredibly dangerous for them. Flashbang over the top of the start to push back any aggressive CTs here towards Banana. But they've held a relatively tight line. You can see they've got the deep smoke down, the Molotovs as well. And now deploying those HEs, but no real damage inflicted on either side. Bit of a boost here for Nico as he looks for players crossing towards logs. Ooh, they can still work with them. And Molotov will not stop the line being held. You can see Nico is so desperate to hold that information. In fact, a T smoke towards that half wall. What's the move now? So they could boost up behind that with a flashbang just before they do so. Could be the call. Just waiting to see if there's any sort of reaction. Looking for the CT oh, boost. Henry, look how low their util is. They've got nothing on B. They, they dropped so much, and they didn't really do any damage for it. Oh, man. How do you hold the wolf at the door when you've got no smoke grenades? And we talked about this a lot. This is a, a pre-fire spot now. The boost, I think, has gone out of meta, if you ask me. It's good for the retakes of the bomb site when the bomb's already down, I think. But these sort of rounds, sure, Nick can get a kill or two, but I feel like Astralis will be aware of it. Right, so uh, you can see, actually, with what they've done here, is they hope that Rain will get enough contact. Like, he has to get one. Now they can all look at boost at the same time. Pre-fire does come in. It's only attack. Nico will get one before he falls, but into the site nonetheless. No, that's oh, bomb the bomb. Zipex does go down. A dink does nothing through the wall. And this could be enough to hold Zera, to be honest with you. But great positioning from Device there. Low HP as well, down at 12. And he gives him a three on two. Broke it with the orb. Olaf Meister with a full array of utility. They can go for this, but they're both coming from CT spawn. And yeah, they've already cancelled. Off they go, 4-0 Astralis. So what's that? That was pissed around. They had to go for the save. And right here on the first gun round, that's not the uh, situation you want to be finding yourself in. And one of the keys right there, Alex, you were bang on, was the limited utility. You see, they couldn't stop that at any point. And because it was delayed, because Astralis almost made it a contact hit, after they dropped their own smokes. The question was, is this a fake? Are they even coming? Cold Zero rotated over. He was there to help the boys on out. Oh, if we'll find one onto device there as he tries to escape. But it's not the end of the world as the buy will come on through for Astralis, no worries. These saved weapons on the board of Brokey and Olaf, they might need to be a little bit more assertive at the start of the round. See if they can find an opening pick here because we're currently sitting at 4-0 and in terms of opening duels in the favor of Astralis. The position he opted for is ridiculous. It's like the, the fountain is just a perfect silhouette of a T, and he could just slot out and slide out. Yeah, you could notice how he wasn't aiming to the left or the right, either no. of the fountain, directly straight ahead so that his gun's not sticking out on either side, trying to camouflage himself as best as possible. Well, we've seen over the last two days when players disconnect, standing still is clearly a very uh, effective strategy for survival. I saw someone uh, comparing, I think it was uh, NIP to a T-Rex. I think it's a Jurassic <laughs> yeah. Park reference. Yeah, the vision based on movement, not far off. 
And that nade wasn't either. Devise caught it down to 71. Now, they're only working with that rifle and that AWP from the save. And already that rifle has found blood. Glaive, he's going to lose his mind. He's lost his head. And there we have it. That's the first opening duel for FaZe. Will they be able to convert the round, though? Mages could be towards the top of middle. And you can see it's a, a partial approach here with the saved AK and AWP. They can make this round work. They'll be right back into it, but they still need to find four players. And right now, three focusing towards quad. They're going to flash him in. Olaf's got it. Brokey's going to have the chance to pick of the litter and miss Ooh. shot. Uncharacteristic of Brokey, but a second flash. Cold will take that space. Dupree wants the fight, but he may not be ready for Cold. Could be a chance for them to get a crucial frag to stop this. A push back turned. Great timing. Cold finds it 4v3. So the orb's down, but the AK is still up. Olaf Meister patrolling the quad side. He made it to the bomb. He's being incredibly careful, and he's not. Where's the trade? Device needs to get it, but it's going to be Olaf Meister holding incredibly strong here. Looking good for the first round. Yeah, he's done everything he needed to. There was the only, really, the pressure was on him. And his AK has found them three. Cole did well to find Dupree in the apartments. Now Zipex looking for the bomb. A plant would be fantastic. Reigns in a position where he could probably contest it, though. He'll hear that sound cue. He'll be the first to... Oh, he's going to let it go down. It's important plant as well for Astralis here. So good stuff from Zipex. I don't see him winning this. No, it's going to be very difficult. If he could find Rain first. He does so, but took a little too long about it. That's the worst feeling. When if you just get that first clean, you knew you'd have had a chance. Yeah, and just to note right there, we were talking about the lack of opening kills for FaZe. That was where they get their first. Olaf had a huge impact on that round. He's even carrying the AWP across right now so they can get that back in Brokey's hands if they so desire. So good stuff from FaZe here. We know that they're good on these type Ooh. of rounds, and that was the opening. So just a pixel gap. Olaf looking sharp here today. Important yeah, very frags. Impressive. And uh, is that enough to knock them down to size? We have got three AKs there for now. Here's Olaf Meister and his stats so far. Currently set them four and two, 57 ADR. Three AK kills, and do they're on the CT side. Do you think my beard will ever look like that? No. It's just I not, it's just not so. in my repertoire. I, I'm in the same crew as you. Oh, man. Like. I'll just be Even scruffy. So. That's all I've got. I'm stuck with the scruff. Brokey hasn't fragged yet. Blaze looking for one towards... Banana. It's worth taking note of just how well Astralis seem to be avoiding at utility damage at the moment. So many times you see players limping over, and just as I say it, they're burning. Two of them are. Device is so low, but he has no idea, and Magisk, he's the one to connect through the smoke. Yeah, they needed that. It wasn't looking good towards Banana at all, but through the smoke, Magisk will strike, and they're back to the 4-4, four and four, but Device very low. Zipex certainly not. He's still got 100 HP, and Dupree working towards the boiler. It's actually an arch focus this time as we've got Cold Zera towards Trash and Brokey baiting him in the AWP. The idea is Brokey will fire off a shot, fall back, hopefully take the attention with him, and they'll overlook this position Cold Zera sat in. One player towards B, oh. it's just Nico, and he's been spotted now. May just will fire off a pop shot, maybe bait out a bit of a reaction here. Cold Zera with a smoke, which they're trying to get rid of, like, ideally. He's holding on to it and deploys it. One of the things to note right now is that FaZe have managed to maintain mid control here. They dropped a Molotov, they have a smoke, and they even have a kill. So this is looking fantastic. Device is low. They're running out of options and they're running out of time. FaZe have done a great job of holding on to key bits of real estate in this round. And now that real estate will be questioned. Three squatters by the names of Device, Zipex, and Magisk are knocking on the door. Broken. Fur perfect flash. He throw one of his own. He's even got a second. Anything he can do to slow them down? Those flashes have worked wonders. Buying time. Now they're back. Vision restored for the Danes. Brokey does not want to go down through a speculative shot. Well, it's so down to Nika now. They're trying to deny this plant and doesn't do any significant damage. The bomb does go down. He does get a ding through the coffins there. Magus trying to re-coordinate. Over towards Emo now. Brokey will be there. They've got no utility on the Astralis side. Should be a very convincing phase finish. Should. Nico has to hit this shot first. And the off angle, it's worked so well for Zipex. They just assumed it was clear. Dinked. Surviving. Brokey hits the shot. Olaf into the site, onto Device. He's got the lineup. Look at that. It's perfect for the defuse. He doesn't have to move. And now they know exactly where he is. Brokey can hold the defuse. Spray finds one. He assumes that was the defuser. And it will be FaZe securing their second. It's keeping this competitive, keeping this game interesting. Well, there we have a good attempt there. The bomb going down does yield one more buy for Astralis here. 4-2 up, and they've kept that round pretty clean on the FaZe clan side of things. They've got the AWP and two M4s brought over as well. The AK 
in the hands of Cold Zera. Round seven coming up, and the first AK has been purchased, yeah. but they haven't brought much else out. I don't know if they have to go for the full force right here. They get 2,400 in the next round, so they could just limp in with a partial buy to keep FaZe honest, and that seems to be what they're doing. So Dupree, with a little bit more cash than everybody else, is able to get away with the AK, but it's Tech Nines and Deagles for the remainder. A couple of bits of utility, an aggressive push from FaZe. This will stifle any execute they had in mind. It can sometimes fall apart, though, pretty quickly. Nico towards bench, and he's been spotted. He'll be swarmed for second middle, bear in mind, and there it comes. He'll hold on. He might actually get away with this. He's looking very wow. good. That's excellent work from Nico. Dupree trying to make this round at least significant. If he gets a couple of kills, that'd be great. Bomb down. Brokey. Don't He's got the orb bear in mind. Oh. And down he goes. He gets the dink, but... Throw it away. Good call. Well, it's more than Dupree probably barking, don't picking up, and he may meet Cold Zera. So, four to three, closing the gap. That's perfect. Three kills from Nico, aggressive down middle. I want to see that one again, just charging down. More and more teams are throwing it into the arsenal because you're just almost always going to get caught out. Beautiful. If you throw the right timing, perfection. Well, that's three rounds in a row now for FaZe Astralis. They took a bit of a, a partial investment there with one player on the AK-47. That was Dupree. This time they'll be fully equipped. Dupree still has his utility and a spare $400 cash as we get into round number eight now. So FaZe, sure they've won three in a row, but their money still needs a bit of work. First grenade towards Banana. Doesn't do a massive amount of damage. Just 12 towards Nico. He'll answer back the incendiary that lands directly in the smoke. Oh, there could be a trouble here. Maybe not. Vegas, he bails them, out, bails them out very easily. Nico's gonna get the trade back. It's a 4v4. A lot of nades have been exchanged in Banana. As we can see with a minute 25 left on the clock, both teams, their utility is already being milked on out. This push could be everything. Wow, they, sat, they have cold behind him. And he might get this one as well. They're trading blows. Yeah, very equal right now. Glaive down to nine, cold zero 38, and he's the last player towards B, but he might have done enough here. Dupree waits at the end of the apartments and Zipex at T steps. He's got the bomb. Just one towards B. That's the low cold zero, but happy to defend for now. One minute remains. And in terms of utility, just a couple of smokes and flashes. But they could just go for the contact play, knowing that the final player could be low here. This is his test. Molotov, he's safe from it. Oh my god, only just it could have spread. But now they might call it clear. And he, oh, he has a real chance here, and he takes the head off Glaive. Things get very difficult for Astralis now. With 30 seconds, the rotates in. Brokey smoked off. He still has a chance, but takes the shot. And the wall bang. Hello, Zipex. He's calculated that one perfectly. Well, they know exactly where Brokey is, but they have no flashbang to get him off his perch here. 18 seconds remain, and oh. Dupree perfectly done. Now just one player remains. That's going to be Olaf Meister, and they seem to know he's towards B. Does he swing in? Well, oh, it'll be the orb to challenge, and... Dupree trying to close things out here. Look at that fifth round on the board. Gave it a good go. Dupree, that flank was the uh, the be-all and end-all. Takes an AWP into the next as well. Look at Brokey's money now, right? I want to point this out because two rounds ago, we saw the AWP get thrown away from Dupree. That meant that Brokey had to reinvest with the full AWP buy-on. And now if you want to get the full set of nades, you want to get the head armor, the AWP and the diffuse kit, that's going to be a small loan. So an AWP right now, like Brokey having to reinvest after that little tiny inconvenience, yeah. you can see what that's done. Nico's actually invested into an AWP of his own here, and we saw them pull around away with an AWP and an AK just earlier in the piece, so this one's still possible. Yeah, he's certainly capable of making these rounds work, but he knows he has to be active. We challenge him towards Banana to start, waits initial flames to go down, and unfortunately his teammate does take significant damage. Gives up the fact he's got the AWP, doesn't land a shot, and goes down to 52. Glaive will use the information to go up towards middle. A lot of footsteps made, and all of my stuff looks spot. like he's good for one. Oh, the jiggle from Dupree is everything. Yeah, you can see how well thought out there is. It's done damage towards B. They know Nico's with the orb and B now as well. And he's actually rotated over towards library. Smoke down. He has to hold on to this. He has to be careful now. He does, doesn't he? They're going for a B split. There's actually three towards B right now. Two of them trying to get in towards Arch. He could just walk through that smoke, to be honest with you. That's what Brokey's counting on. I think that could, he could definitely get a kill if they do. Oh, the timing. I think he's gone through the moment they were waiting. This is great, though. No one ever sits behind the heart smoke like this. It's such a tight choke point. This is a huge risk, and it's going to pay off. Oh, Brokey didn't see them, but they certainly heard him. That's a lot of information for Astralis. Look at their setup right now. 
They're trying to pull him apart as well. Just Glade making footsteps so he can come out and swing. Oh, Perfect. It is. It's very well coordinated. Rain Scarf bringing he actually catches a bullet. Down to just one HP. What could you possibly do with one HP when Dupree is clearing his corners as carefully as that? Yeah, very efficient stuff. But now both players towards the banana area. They managed to get a kill and maybe That's a bit more, gone. but the orb is gone, Chad. You're dead on there, Glaive. He'll be taking that at the end of the round for now using his bait. Yeah, Cold's got one as well. Let's see if he can get away with his. If he hits the deagle shot, he's good. And he heard the sound cue. Knows one's dropped down. Oh, he, oh, he can, can hit, hit the around. cavalry. They're charging towards him. All of Astralis descending the T-Ramp. A perfect flash for the survival. Cold. Surely it, they lost it's it It's a different now. game now. It's hide and seek, and he's been spotted. Oh. Getting around the corner. Caught by Dupree. Four kills in that round. And Dupree is still playing fantastic. He's yeah. carrying on that form that we saw over there on Dust too. So this is great signs for Dupree here. And that's six on the board for Astralis. That is what we would call par for the course. They don't actually need any more rounds right now to uh, at least be where the average is, or at least the sure. average should be on a map like Inferno. So every round from this point forward that Astralis throw on, consider that, you know, the icing, the cherry on top. You got some bloody sprinkles on there as well. Maybe they put a Fredo frog inside your cake. <laughs> You're getting everything. Fredo frog. There used to be 10B back in my day. Very different scenes back in the UK now. It's a sad time, but uh, we'll continue with round number 10 and Astralis in their great form. Dust 2 already under their belt. Inferno looking very good for them. This is their pick, but they're receiving damage at the star here. They'll throw back a Molotov in response and try and gain banana access once again. You can see they've got four players at the bottom. Rain and Nika to defend this time. We've got the M4s between them. And now a severe lack of grenades. Not really sure that Smoke's four. Uh, suggesting someone's in it, perhaps. Doesn't look like he's already gone anywhere. No, certainly doesn't. So Rain through that. We were lining that up the other day. So that's designed, in my opinion, for the half wall, and then you can throw the Molotov behind it. It would have gone down now regardless. So not a huge deal. Well, as soon as they bait this smoke out of Nico's hands, they're looking hot to trot to hit the B bomb site. Not a lot of utility remaining. If you can have Banana for free with this much time left on the clock, you have to be happy. But that is assuming they don't go down here top mid. Croaky, very committed. Two and seven. Couldn't really get going on Dust to either. His teammate will be dropped. That's rain towards B. And this could be perfect. We'll do pretty the end of the apartment. They can coordinate themselves back towards Banana now. Molotov towards middle. Brokey still planting his feet. He'll be joined by Cold Zero as well. It's going to be Nico alone at the B bomb site. God, he's got a lot to do. Broke, he's still being kept busy. Glaive's just been throwing some nades and waiting. Now Dupree's fragging on A. They're taking the bomb back there. And now Brokey, perhaps a chance. If he peeks middle, he spots another and gets away. Oh my God, the ambition on this one. He goes for a re -peak. Molotov's good. 15 seconds as the bomb does head back to B. Unfortunately, Cold Zera couldn't keep them at bay. And now Brokey, it's more of a game for survival. He's done well to find the kills, but this round will be Astralis. Yeah, it certainly will be. Brokey with two great shots, but it's all about self-preservation now. He'll tuck himself into all the tier apartments, but the hunt is officially on once again. You can see Dupree. Searching for his play, and for now, Brokey, just 10 points of health. Can't even scope at this stage. It'll have to be a, a no-scope, a quick scope to try and defend himself, but I don't think he's going to do so. Oh, <gasps> spotted, and now down to 2 HP. He got tagged for three. Man, oh, man, he's dead. Dupree secures oh, it, money. not even interested in the orb. They've only got $3,000 per player, Chad. It's really starting to fall apart for them. Yeah, this is uh, the bin juice right here. It's a Sunday morning. It's... 40 degrees outside, <laughs> running out. The trash man, he's coming. He's not happy. You yeah, didn't even get your flip flops on. Your glass, it's the all cardboard. over. You didn't slice up the cardboard into exactly. manageable chunks. You've just crammed it all in there. I he's not happy. In fashion right now, my building in London, they've got this cool thing where they've been bagged outside the apartment doors for everyone to enjoy. In the hallway. So, yes. so everyone's yeah. just going to go through and actually have a little look what they're consuming or throwing away. You can actually yeah. look. Nice, nice aroma. Homely. It smells very nice. It's so as great. you walk to your home, you yeah, get to smell the waste. Long day of everyone. Wait, wait, hold on, Henry. Do you have an ant problem in your building? I don't have an ant problem per se. Uh, not in this building, but in another building in Germany, there is a bit of one. I, but, hope uh, that, I hope Harry's listening right now, and I hope that he's uh, he's come to an, an agreement with the ants. They've put down I think their weapons. They've, they've retreated. They've, they've come, retreated? They've had a ceasefire. All right, well, we dropped some nukes in there today, so they should <laughs> uh, they should be dealt with here in the same way that FaZe Clan... I've well, got a feeling about this one, boys. I don't know what it is. Okay. But something tells me, my spider senses tell me that Nico, he might be able to make something happen here. That first shot, it's sort of convincing me. That's if he made his down to 47. He's doing a bit of presence here towards B. We know they're handy with the Desert Eagles. They're desperate for a round. And in terms of the script, it would read perfectly if FaZe can win this and start to bring this half back to life. Yeah, we haven't seen a stomp in a very long time. Usually about this point where the CTs pull out an impossible round. 
We've seen many 2v5s, full eco victories, a single AWP. We saw FaZe do that with the AK just earlier. But just Deagles this time. And the eco, oh, we had a chance. A missed shot. He'll deploy a smoke as a uh, compromise. Do you want us to call you Peter Parker if you're right, Henry, or? Call you what, sorry? Peter Parker if you're correct. Uh, oh. That would be great, actually. My spidey senses, that would uh, certainly be fitting. And here comes the first kill. Oh Stupree to Lord. answer back, but he does know a couple more players are available. The spray getting a bit wild. Ten bullets remaining in that AK, trying to throw a flashbang out of there. But this is looking good. I reckon Rain gets one here. It's a nice position. Device has spotted him. Oh, the miss. It's not good. It's good enough, though. And a chance again, Rain making that deagle work. He's actually reloading. Oh my god, he has a chance. He nearly pulled the trigger again. 2v2 though, you're absolutely bang on. This has got way more competitive than we anticipated, but the CTs, uh. Gamble stacking to A or retreating with a save the AK, one way or the other, this round is gone. Yeah, well, their positions now certainly suggest so. I They've feel just like, realized as yeah, well. Yeah, I felt like they, they heard something and someone's given a call of conviction because there was no reason to rotate back, but they set up for it, so it was a bit of a missed call. Um, you're right, though, saving the AK-47, I think, is more important than going for this. You're probably not going to win, I'll be honest. But give it a go. Give it a crack. You need some rounds on the board here, and while well, 7-3 down, pushing straight through, they're going to try their best. Bomb ticking away now. It's done. Oh, the flash is just brutal. <laughs> What's he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> the flash was the yeah. one that got him. It's not normally a flash that gets Henry. It's, it's, it's normally the, the 1v4s. <laughs> oh. A okay, single flashbang has broken our color commentary. I kind of started swallowing and talking at the same time, and all of a sudden uh, just uh, coughed in my lungs. But we're good. We're back. It's Welcome all fine. back. I'm glad you're here. But uh, that was not bad, was it? Astralis, pretty close to giving that one up. Doesn't really matter unless they do. But uh, A3 all the same, and Broke back on the AWP. No one breaking double digits yet. We're only seeing round 12. We're seeing a very quiet phase out there so far. And Dupree on a mad one. 16 and 4. Brokey taking matters into his own hands. But Magis, ooh, actually, a missed shot from Brokey was a sitting duck. And Device has caught one back early. Straight away, death on A. It's going to be that fight. Very close quarters, and they want to commit to this. They're going straight in towards A. Cold Zeros let one slip the net. He will find Zipex. But they've got a control. The bomb's on its way up middle. There's no one that can catch them. Maybe there is something to be said. I'm not sure. This looks way too good. There's no CT presence towards A whatsoever. This is similar to Dust 2 B site. If you have this sort of control, it's not even worth going for, in my opinion. We'll see whether they want to challenge this. And Glade, he's out oh. to speed by, and there's a double kill. He tucks them in, puts them to bed, and we are going to have Brokey and Rain, presumably just saving at this point. Yeah, Glaive, he just showed up. He said, put on these. It's FaZe Clan pajamas. He says, you're off to bed. We've got nine now to three. It's getting out of hand. That means there's only three rounds left. That's some quick maths for everybody at home right there. And with that in mind, we need to point out that FaZe have to start going for retakes. They need to start going for rounds. With only three remaining with the fact that they've got the max loss bonus of 3400 coming through the only thing they're missing right now is the five kills to put around on the board that's what needs to change so if they lose the bomb site like this again in the future they will have to go for the retake 12-3 t half from astralis you may as well call it closed well, this round certainly is brokey and rain at least saved the orp and the m4 as chad mentioned will have maximum loss bonus here and there it is four survive for astralis their money pretty much under lock and key for the rest of this half shouldn't be an issue his glaive with the double kill heard them run past they had no idea he could swing out and that's going to be a lovely double kill for the in-game leader 200 damage in the round as we get into number 13 and the money still won't be great 3400 chad mentioned they have to go to the retakes they have to also buy these rounds because Quite frankly, three or four will not do. Nine six, we've got a conversation, but uh, haven't seen FaZe a part of the conversation in the last 13 rounds of play. Two of them holding this. Ooh. This is could really could be set up for success. Yeah, wow, wow, we both of them stepping into the crossfire and the stacking apps has paid off for FaZe Clan. Two versus five. The double stack towards the end of the apartments actually works out a bit more aggro than we're used to. There's no way the Dupree could possibly deal with that. It's looking fantastic now for a phase round. And can they make it clean, though? So Astralis won't be saving this one. They're going to try and make it as expensive as possible, knowing we've got a couple of rounds left. And a boost in Sweetie Spawn pretty much guarantees the chances of a phase. And in terms of what they'll receive, smoke towards Spawn, Coffins, a couple of flashes over. They'll do a big execution with two people, but Device going back towards middle, just trying to get a sound cue going. 
uh, in case Nico heard that from Spawn. Oh, he's definitely heard that. Oh, Nico, he's actually... It's gone worse for him than he imagined. And with rain being so low, if anyone could do it, Magis could just pre-fire this corner. They're not clearing him. They won't. They oh, will. Okay. Gets the frag and now into the site. A two versus two. No Devices way. hit the shot onto Cold. They're both rotating it, tating in through CT. And he's taking another aggressive angle. What? He catches Brokey on the anti-flash. Slaps his bottom. And now it's all on to Olof to pick up the pieces. This is just dissolved in front of them. Olof in the flames. He's burning a lot of damage done. He actually took significant damage to the flames there. Got stuck on the tree. Well, what can he do here? The smoke and AT available to him with the bomb only halfway gone. Olaf Meister can still win this. And Mage is channeling towards Spawn. It'll be the nade towards Emo. Gives him a position. Oh, but Olaf wow. Meister hits the what? shot. That was a two versus five. Luckily, FaZe will restabilize. Olaf Meister getting three kills. Comes right down to the wire. It cost him a lot. But they get the round up there, chat. But the problem is they only get $3,500 per player yeah. now. On top of that, he saves you up. So a weapon can be dropped over. But still... How did that come down to a one versus one? It was a five versus two. I want to see Magus' POV on that because he hit him. He did hit him, right? He tagged him just for a tiny little bit of damage and it wasn't enough to get across the line. I thought with the low HP on Olaf, it was, it was going to be over. See there, he gets that little tag down to six. Whoa. Must have been through the corner of the wall Most or the stuff, box. Yeah, through Paul. So right now, Astralis, by getting the bomb down there, they're going to be able to buy in the last round, which is the next round. So there's no woes for them. They can take a little bit of a risk right here. But for FaZe, Henry pointed it out very astutely. They're in a little bit of trouble. And these early trades, it's looking great for Astralis. <laughs> Gold's done it again. Another double kill on their app's aggression. Perfect. You lose Olaf in the process, but you'll be happy to take the man advantage. Ne oh my god, Navice has been waiting it for that smoke to fade for 15 seconds, and it does translate into a frag. Well, here comes the smoke from Rain as Astralis will fully commit towards the B side of the map. They're being held out by the flames Great for now. Head. Great damage there from Rain. Looking for that fifth. It's actually looking pretty good for him to pick up the first. No problem. Wow. There's the double kill. Both headshots delivered from that Thanos. And now Magisk will have not much to do, I'm afraid. One minute. And he's looking for any flanks on the CT side. But this moment of silence allowed them to just reposition, regather their thoughts. We've got Cold Zera, I believe, towards second middle. So that's a great spot for him. They have locked Major Skin here. Second Molotov. It's time for new box. That will fall flush Ray now. And he does do good damage. Burns him, in fact. Froki, all he has to do is miss the shot, but he will not today. Finds his sixth frag. Astralis have been suffocating the young Orpa. Such a huge impact on Dust2. We'll see that double kill again from Cold, just straight through the corner. Swings into the reload. You can see Dupree just... Caught out on the reload. Cold was clearly counting the bullets. And a double kill from Rain with the FAMAS on B really was where the round was sealed. Yeah, that was big. It's the final round of this first half. Astralis will have a Mac 10, and there's a player without a helmet. That's going to be Rain. Couldn't afford it. So uh, we'll see him be vulnerable to Zipex's SMG. And a bit of a push here as Nico will be working with Brokey there. Dupree didn't stand a chance. And great uh -oh. shot. That's Device. Fantastic flick there. Could only see the head. Fully connects. And now he's in towards logs. FaZe have been doing a great job of being able to find multi-kills after they've been losing the advantage or when the sites are feeling like they're under pressure. They can lock it on down. Rain in the previous with the Famous was very good stuff and that Olaf clutch was great as well. But Cold Zero taking this much damage. They're out of utility already. Astralis are looking very threatening towards the top of Banana here. Yeah, boost to watch Emo and any of that naughty smoke play. Hold. Doesn't spot anyone on his first jiggle, but Nico's just pushed all of them. He gets two. Is that going to be enough, though? Is one minute remaining here. Astralis with their backs to the wall. They've got no further grenades. The man disadvantage and Brokey. He'll jump up towards the coffin here. Maybe just will pull one back. That's actually on the bomb side itself, and he can swing round and actually pick up another one. Goes to the plan instead. That actually could be a great call because Brokey, if he swings this one and goes down, he knows the round is over. Two on two. We'll see the flank from Olof Meister. Final round of this first half. Look at Device, though. Disc overwhelmed. Device has been working on this flank for a while, but Brokey's so ready for it, he misses his shot. Olof closing the gap. Device on for his fourth. A one versus two clutch from the Danish Orpa, but the wall bank from Olof does significant damage. Fakes it. 
Device gonna call the bluff. He's pushing oh. in and he hits another spec. <laughs> I'm on a 10-5 half. Astralis on the T side of their map pick, and they managed to find themselves double digits. It's a rarity, Hank. It certainly is, and we are gonna have something a little bit interesting as we kick off the second half. We're looking at the double D combo again, 17 and 15 respectively. Dupree continuing that good form. It's good to see, to be honest with you. Struggled earlier on in the week and now looking much better. I think he's got a CZ to kick this one off as well. He'll be in towards oh. a boiler room. That's where you'll find him on the T side as well. Bit of a master of that position and looking for some close range frags. You can see the odds from GD to bet come through. Astralis certainly the favorites at this point with their opponent's map pick under the belt and 10 rounds on the T side of Inferno. Well, before we get this one underway, what we said before we kicked off the map of Inferno was FaZe's pistol round stats in the last uh, month has been better on this than that of Astralis's. But Astralis have won the lion's share of their games, 4 and 0 oh, in the road to Rio on Inferno and the majority of their rounds actually coming on their... Uh, T side, but this one's going to be called on off. You can hear a bit of typing. Yeah, Maybe it's not called off. They're still off. playing. Yeah, so let's play until the ref blows the whistle here. Always yeah. the safest bet. Now Dupree, a CZ Kevlar. It's quite the Superman setup. That's a lot of cash invested into one player for a pistol round. So keep your eye on Dupree. He's going to get overwhelmed and all of that cash was invested in vain. That's $1,100 down the swanee. Device about to be tested, and with a USP, he just stands and delivers. He's holding oh, he's down those one. They all jump past him, and the last will be Cold Zero. This time, he finishes the job. Magisk got three to deal with. Hits the first shot very cleanly, but Rain does the same. Bomb will be planted. Two unarmored CTs with nades for the retake. Maybe Glaive's got something in store for Pit. Cold Zero, can you catch? Nade does land on Rain from one side. It's going to be very difficult to get back in. Yeah, it doesn't look possible. Glaive and Zipex in the three versus two. They've got to smoke for the pit, though. That will nullify oh. Cold Zero. Good grenade. Lands at his front door. Takes him down to 46. Uh, but still looking very difficult as the smoke comes in. It could be a good chance then, but Brokey should guarantee it now. Smoke will provide a bit of a cover for them as well. Zipex jumping up towards the site. Trying to pick up anyone he can. That's towards the pit. Cold Zero will take him down. And indeed, they love their reputation of being pistol masters. And it will be phase to find success. 10-6. Now, FaZe are likely to steady here. I I'm curious if Astralis will go with the Force by. They answer that very quickly for me, as we can see the Snapping Turtle brought up by Dupree. Deagle in the hands there of Magus. This is, I'm liking this by Henry. We've got two five sevens coming out on a map like Inferno where the choke points are quite tight. If they're able to corral them, we have the smokes in play here as well. Device staying a little bit more reserved so that he can get the AWP up when he needs it. This isn't a terrible buy coming on through here from Astralis. Very threatening, but FaZe have measured. No risks taken. Three through alt middle. One passive banana. One passive T stairs. Doesn't quite connect there for Zipex. Grenade certainly does, though. 40 damage towards Magisk. Glaive at 77. They'll try and offer an aid back in return, but no one really there to receive. It's going to be the flash attack here from the boiler slash apartment area. Going to try and send three players out. There's an eagle and 5 7 waiting for them, and it looks pretty good for the first. It certainly does. Nico on to Dupree. Starting their commitment, Colt's already on the site, and this Deagle's working! God, Device, he does half health to Brokey as well, but Brokey with the frag. Now the bomb still needs to be planted. That's Nico's responsibility, and he's going to start fulfilling that now. In he goes, bomb to be planted, and Magus might be able to steal away a kill here. There it is. Unfortunately, Colt's there on the bomb site. will bring it back to a two-on-two -two for him, so they've got rifles. Should be able to close this one out, but Glaive, 5-7, Zipex on scout. It'll have to be a flashbang over and a Could be great. swing. Any more where that came from? Would have been perfect. Glaive does find the first and the second as well. They've got time and they'll take the defuse. Astralis win the second round. I thought there was no way back in. The coordination is uh, spectacular there. It's the USP taking the aggro, but as Chad mentioned, that 5-7, it can be deadly. It gets close enough. It's got enough. TTK potential, Alex, I would say. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> and we'll have uh, two wonderful girls there. Glaive managed to win at our second round force by for them with the bomb planted. I'd assume you'll see the same here from FaZe, and it might decide their outcome because they won't get the added bonus now out of the loss bonus. Well, they will be uh, buying up some AKs. So they're not done just yet. Astralis are not out of the hot water, potentially into the frying pan, not the fire. So hot water... Frying pan, yeah. then the fire. A branch of this Wim Hof method thing I've been experimenting with. Oh, that's right. With. I hear you breathing in the morning quite loudly in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah so that's what I've been doing. Yes. Uh, you're supposed to be able to do five minutes. It's like at the end of your shower, you're supposed to have an ice cold shower. Five minutes. And you're supposed to take deep breaths because your body's For natural reaction is to take quick, like shallow breaths. 
and apparently you get like a mad like head high and focus okay. and it's like really supposed to be amazing for your physical physical form. Well, I, I've been listening a lot uh, recently about heat shock proteins, Alex, and that's the obviously the opposite, you know, going in saunas and doing all those uh, bits so and pieces. It's like the extremes, they yeah. do wonders for our bodies. Well, we used to be in extremes, right? And uh, right now, Faze are in a bit of an extreme situation. 11-6 <laughs> down. You like that one? Oh, I did like that. Uh, I was under the radar. Did. I know you did. It, it took me by surprise. Well, we, uh, we really work hard on the segues here. On and the road to uh, Rio. We'll have two AK-47s, three pistols, and face. If they lose this, it'll be 12-6, presumably 13 with a full eco to follow. So a lot of pressure for the international roster here. It's going to be Rain and Cold Zero trying to find the picks. They'll be throwing a decent grenade and does a lot of damage towards the vice. He might want to get out of there now. Holds in the anti-flash position. And the grenade lands towards Cold Zero. Doesn't do any damage. They've got a lot of banana space here. That nade will oh, do great, great damage. Nades. It lands inside Rain's oh, the belt. the rifles, both of them. Oh, yeah, good point. That's like the main body of the oh. assault, and there's more. Not too much damage this time. But still, it does suggest Astralic prepared. And now Zipex is pushed down. Banana is bore fruit. Olaf does go down. And look at the backs exposed. Magis can't believe his luck. It was only Brokey, though. Still the rifle for Rain. Nico's recovered a Galil. And oh, caught out. Jumping knife out. That's the end of Rain. Oh, he's flashed himself a little bit there as well. But Nico can grab that bomb. It's in the smoke right now, but thinks better of it. In towards the apartment. So won't be able to steal that away. It actually gives the advantage towards Astralis, I would say. And we'll have a look. 40 seconds remain. This is a huge round. We said that at the start. And they are sticking together. And to be honest, this could actually work out really nicely. They, if they time this well enough, he won't have time to go back towards B. But it comes down to about the 22nd mile before that's a reality. So he could still grab that and go towards the other side of this stage. They'll stay on it. But as soon as their time is sub-20, I, I would say they're going to a crossfire on the side. And they're holding him now. Bit of a roll reversal. And now back to attacking A. And unfortunately, with no he armor. Can't win. Yeah, the smoke's not really going to help him out. Yeah, 10 seconds. He's done four. That's 12 6. No bomb planted, boys. You know what that means. It's full eco territory. Like, legit. Legit full eco. Like, Glock train. Yeah, they, they, they might... 2400 next round, yeah. AK armor, one smoke. They can't even afford a P250. They might want to have a discussion now anyway. Like, a timeout could be good. Even though you know you're going into an eco, have the conversation early enough that everybody knows where they're going to be in a round and a half's time. But no, they will just go with these pistols. It is going to be one Deagle in the hands of Nico. So he's the only one we need to stay on board with. And this is good reason. What well, an animal. What an absolute animal he is. brilliant shot. We should do the golf clap when they hit those ones. Just, uh... Yeah, if we could, just everyone could do a little pitter-patter. Golf clap. Yeah. yeah. So, the MP9 recovered. There's an eagle for rain. It would be somewhat of a miracle when they pull the crowd off. But maybe a chance. These yeah. are overwhelmed to Dupreme here, and it uh, doesn't look good for that fact. In fact, it doesn't look like we'll get a single kill. It will be a very convincing Astralis finish as we go 13 to 6. And as I mentioned, even if they took a full eco there, the money wouldn't be amazing. they will have enough for the AKs, armor, smoke, and a flash. And that's pretty much across the board. Is Dupree pretty standard round for him. Nothing too crazy going down here, just making sure he denies that plant, keeps the money low and uh, hopefully finds a 2-0. They are in a great position to do so. Very good position. We haven't seen FaZe looking mortal in some time. We talked about their undefeated spree. Road to Rio, they did manage to keep it up. Here in the playoffs, it seems they've met their maker, met their match. It is Astralis 13, FaZe Clan 6. Well, Astralis have banana control right now. Olaf behind the smoke, can get towards logs if he needs to. The way that Zipex is playing this, the jump spot means he should be relatively safe and he'll even think better of hanging around for now. He's been left with the sole responsibility of anchoring the B bomb site, And that means they've been able to cheat an extra man over towards this A defense here. So in limbo is Glaive, in-game leader of the team. He'll know when he wants to hedge his bets towards the bomb sites. We can see FaZe, they've got Boiler and Halls control. They've got uh, half of Banana control. They don't know that Sandbags is clear at the moment, but they're dealing with that right now. And it was minutes on the clock. So this first 55 seconds is just being used, posturing around, prodding, seeing what CTs are doing. And now that they've got the real estate they need, this is when the call can start to come on in. So we have two smokes, one flash, phase clan on their knees. Had a perfect run in the road to Rio so far, eight and zero in terms of series victories. This will be the first one they give up. It's the upper bracket. 
and Astralis look like they're impeccable form right now. Can they fend off a full B execution with five terrorists making their way through? Look at the position from Zipex. They don't even check it. No one was expecting that. The Molotov's doing so much damage. They're really all is. burning alive. Oh God, the bullets were just the finishing touch. Everything else was done by that nade. And by Zipex's position, if he hits any of them. Ooh, wow. Great shot from Nico. He's Jesus. definitely turned on, but it was not going to be the clutch to save FaZe Clan. It will be 14 now for Astralis. That is uh, his aim. I know that they're getting the beat down right now, but Nico, you, you can't go past an individual with aim like that. You, I mean, wild. let's not forget the, the last battle they had. Who was it that they were playing on Mirage? And they wouldn't have even seen that third map if he hadn't, have, in a 1v1, just hit the one tap uh, on that B site. It was ridiculous to see some of the plays he's been pulling out. And he took them all the way to the third map and ending up turning it around with a clutch against Copenhagen Flames. I actually remembered it. Yeah, I was trying to get there with you as well. That was oh. a banger of a series, wasn't it? We were on train, yeah, Farley, he jumped, it was, and there's it that was He hits the jump shot on, was it Twist? Maybe it was NIP? God, I Could don't know. Could have been NIP as well. We've done a lot of games of Counter-Strike here. <laughs> it's but, all blurring uh, into one at this point. Well, we're coming to the tail end right here, potentially at map number two. This is MAC-10s on the board. Galil in play as well. No utility to speak of. FaZe Clan, it's going to be a rough move forward here. Astralis are looking good. They're looking disciplined. And here we go then. The full send up middle. There's actually got five players here and devices that he's destined to get one of them. While Blind, of course, finds Olaf Meister. This is for map and series point. Rain will pull one back. That's for the Galil, but the big spray down's coming through. A lot of damage output there from the AK and Dupree. He's ready to mow these players down here. He gets this kill call oh. and done. And Nico. No leave broke here and the three versus one already got low HP. He's got absolutely no chance here. Oh, Dupree even crossing back with that high flash. He's got nades. It will keep Brokey alive, but with a sound cue and a great shot and another. Brokey, you've done so many clutches. I need to stop writing you out of these rounds. He's so low. Oh, he's up against the old master though. Glaive has been here many times before. Inferno is his favorite map by far. And 45 seconds remaining. Brokey trying to suggest he's made his way towards B, but going to wake up pretty Darn early in the morning to catch Glaive out. Imagine if Glaive clears middle and knives out to Arch. I would. Well, a lot of people right now, they would do exactly that, but you want to stay closer to the bomb site that you were last at. You can hear where the plant is, and you can even just get the headshot like that. Brokey tries his best, but it's all in vain. 15 to 6, one round away here. Astralis. Oh, they're going to be booking themselves a spot within the grand final of the Road to Rio. They're already leading the points. They already have the lion's share. They won the last major. That's and how this system works. With a map advantage, I believe, as well, right? Yeah, we go into a best of five on the Sunday. But if you make it to, into the uh, grand final first through the upper bracket system, we'd be granted, we'll call it one life or one map in the back pocket, which means you only need to win uh, two maps. Right, of a best of five. Yeah, whereas the team coming from the lower bracket will have to win that three. So still some rounds to play here. Maybe some faster stuff from FaZe Clan as see what they can do. That's a big open. Opening. Huge. Looking to re-aggress. Glaive will throw out the incendiary at the Spectre flashbang, but he's for now just standing and spraying. He's got 10 bullets left to clear this corner, and it's enough. Oh, and he's even got enough for a second. Two bullets left in the chamber. They both find the skull of Olofmeister. Magic's gone to rain. Now, with the advantage, Astralis two frags away from that aforementioned final. Let's see whether they can close it out here. Nico and Brokey. Oh, Dupree's going to go down here. He absolutely is. Brokey will find him recovering the bomb. That's all he was trying to do there. Nico knows exactly where this remaining player towards me is. Can he make light work of him? Time will tell. They seem to have a firm grasp, but then there's the final shot. Zipex finally goes down. And Magis, that's the unit's two versus one now. Phase trying to keep their head above water. The grenade towards the default plant spot. Magis has the smoke on top as well, but taking a lot of damage. That's the 49. He's going to have to try and sneak through the smoke here and try and make his way towards the bomb site. Brokey did well to go emo there. Nice work. Oh, good call if he saves here. That, that was the right option. I was so worried when I saw him actually going for this round. The, the reason is they have 15 on the board. To throw this one away with how the money looks right now for Astralis, just take a look for yourself. The right-hand side, the loss bonus going into the next will be 1,400. So they won't be able to get a full gun round, but at least if Magus holds on to this, they can be threatening. He can try and ply it somewhere across the map, see if he can get them an opening kill, see if he can get them a multi-kill. And I mean, with, yeah, 4,400 on Glaive, he'll be able to at least provide a little summit summit. Maybe that 5-7 we've seen him doing so much great work with as well. It could be the double eco here, so Astralis may want to buy. And, well, with Dupree just purchasing on straight in, I think Glaive should follow suit as well. Magus could drop across a rifle here. And that would mean he would have no nades. So we're going to just check out some Nico highlights right here for you. You get 17 for 19 in terms of his KD.
Here's the split in terms of the frags. Five with the AK, five with the M4. He's had a couple with the AWP and I'm sure a bunch with the pistol. But he's leading the charge and uh, well, they need a bit more out of him right here. Uh, yeah, a lot more, unfortunately. It's going to take eight rounds in a row, and uh, we'll see whether this is going to be where Astralis can get it over the finish line. On the force, Henry, on the force. On Look the at force. their utility. With the scout out there as well. It's unlikely, I'll no admit kit. that. No utility in play. It, it, look, it's the right call. Astralis have made the right call considering the money situation right here, but look at the buy disparity. Uh, you're right. It doesn't look amazing for them. It's zip X on the scout with one flash. You've got no kits, two smokes, and with this massive lead, that's why I Does say, that mean they have to go aggressive? I mean, well, it, they could. That's one of the options here, but they have to do, they can't play a, a classic default round. That's pretty much all we can yeah. be sure of. And that's the first pick coming in from Zipex that doesn't connect. And they're going for a boost here at the start of the round. That's maybe just going up towards two oh, first okay. oranges. So yeah, they've uh, battened down the hatches here. We'll see whether this works out for them. One more round, it looks likely to be a B finish from phase as well. This is like the CS equivalent of building your, you know, your defenses. Exactly. They yeah. have, they've set it up, they've established all the barbed wire they need, all of the hot oil boiled and ready oh, to go. In. And here comes the push. Nico goes down and he drops straight off. The boosts are paying off. Rain flow. It looks like Astralis are off to the finals. They got four kills in four seconds and Cold's wondering where on earth his teammates have gone. Well, that's going to be it. Surely Cold Zero with nothing left to do. Five kills ahead of them. Woman on the clock. There's surely nothing to be said. This should do it. And Device 